Pop Convert App Tutorial. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to add the Pop Convert app to your uh, Shopify store and also how we can uh, set up the pop-ups. So all you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you are going to be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over to Shopify.com, sign in into your account, then we are going to see here at the admin dashboard. Once again, you are on the admin dashboard, you are going to click on the search bar at the top. Now we are going to type in pop convert like that. Then we are going to search for it into the, uh, uh, the app store of Shopify. So once here, you're going to see here all of the apps, but we are going to only precise our search and also um, make the app of this. We have pop convert, pop ups, banners, and etc. So we are going to select this. Obviously, we are going to use a free app. As you can see, the price is free, so you can go ahead and install it. So now we are going to click on install. Once again, we are going to make the installation here from the API convert of uh, uh, also admin of the Shopify store. We are going to click on install. Then we are going to give the access to the app in our store. Don't forget to pin up the app into the navigation of the apps here. So we are going to pin it first, then we are going to proceed with working it with it. So here, as you can see, we have the pin tool or the pin mark. We are going to click on pop convert. Boom, here we have it. We have the integration of the app set right away. So we are going to set up here the app. The, uh, the enablement or the enable of the app is already set. As you can see, we're going to create for our first pop up uh, or smart bar and then we are going to enable our first email automation. So here in this app, we have some uh, features that we can um, exploit right there, which is uh, clicking or creating pop-ups and also creating banners. So we are going to create the first pop-up or smart bar. We're going to see here the templates. So go ahead right there and see all of the templates that are available. We have here as you can see, the uh, categorization or the filters for the pop-ups, we have the smart bars and we have the email templates. So we are going to see here the pop-up, then we are going to choose one of them. So you are going to choose here a template that is going to be resembling your content. For example, if you are going to uh, sell cosmetic, uh, for example, products, you are going to see that or you can go ahead and add whatever you want. For example, I'm going to select this template, click on use template. So as you can see, we have the template. We have some watermarks. If you want to remove the watermarks, you're going to uh, here um, give a, a little message to the chat support, then they can give you the permission or here from, uh, as you can see here, the permission to remove it. So here, as you can see, we've got the uh, permission so we all need here to confirm that it is our store by clicking on the link so here we have the design you can go ahead and modify the design we have the main goal of the uh, convert or the pop convert pop-up you can for example put an announcement traffic to url get subscribers for example here we have upsell cross sell for example to propose uh, products that you didn't sold well or some new products that you have for the uh, back to school season like here you can go ahead and add for example a promotion like spin the wheel and get a coupon you can add a coupon by getting uh, the in exchange of the uh, email subscribers for example and also you can add for example this pop-ups as social media shares so I'm going back right there to add the announcement. For the design, you're going to modify it. Here we have some colors, we have some background colors. You can see here that we have a lot. We have also the main title colors, like that you are going to put it here, this blue, that, or black, whatever. You're going to see here the preview color right away popping like this, and you're going to see here the color of the title or the main title. Here we have the text color. You can go ahead and modify the text color to something like that, this or whatever. 
then you are going if you want to add a background image you can go ahead and add right there from uh, your computer so let's add maybe this png image i'm going to upload it and make it as a background image so here we are going to click on done and boom here we have it so there we have everything for the background and designs you can also modify the overlay opacity the pop-up padding the uh, max width of course of everything now for the content you can go ahead and add whatever you want for example we have here free shipping available at extra cost here we have it this is a text as you can see we have here an image which is the um, maybe this uh, cargo you can go ahead and add an image or see the image library so here we have the uh, control of the width of the images and here as you can see we have the text area you can go ahead and modify the text right there so here we have it so maybe i'm going to put here free shipping available like that then we are going to make it bold or you are going to put it as a header to or like that so we are going to put it only as a title so you can add some blocks we have text blocks image blocks forms timers and etc here i am going to add a timer for example because this is very very uh, approaching so we are going to add a timer then maybe you can add a coupon and this coupon is going to be integrated so you can go ahead and see here the settings and put up the display pages and you can also schedule the display of it you can go ahead and put it here always showing start date here start and end date and etc so with this we have finished all the uh, elements that contain here the pop-up we are going to click on save then you can go ahead and uh, see or preview it on the mobile version to make sure that everything is in order then we are going to click on publish this is the first thing the campaign saved successfully and also published now we are going to visit here at the pop convert app again and see what do we have also so we are going to see the templates and we are going to visit the smart boards so for the smart boards right there uh, these are some uh, permanent bars or uh, banners that can be added to your store so as you can see here we have a smart board of shopify which has the logo of shopify a search bar and also the account settings so these you can see here that we can add them as also announcement bars so we are going maybe to use this template now for the template we are going to see here that we can remove a watermark also but we can go ahead and add a message to this specific area so right there we have the design the goal of it and also the content so here we are going to see the button text and also the main message so we are going to put here uh, back to school, school like that, school, uh, let's say here promotion, promo, like that, 25% uh, for example of site-wide or uh, products, products like that, and boom. Here for the shop now, normally it will take them to the uh, all the products that you have you can also put up here a let's say here i'm not going to do that or delete those but we are going to add maybe promo code use for example i'm going to add a dash use promo code for example we are going to name it uh back back like that 25 25 boom we have it so we are going to close the parentheses boom here we have it so this is the promo code and now we are going to display this click on save then we can go ahead and publish it but in my case i will not publish it now let's talk about the automation that we have for templates we have some emails you can go ahead and add it, the email and also set up the automation of it so for example here you're going to uh, set up the uh, automation for the emails. We have welcome, abandoned cart, and order things, uh, as you can see here, 
uh, automation all you need to do is to enable these automation and they can be sent automatically you don't have to uh, put up the uh, actions or the triggers because they have set them automatically thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one